Hi guys, and welcome back to another Dot Race video, and today we're going to be playing Ride 4. So we are on board the brand new Honda CBR1000RR Fireblade SP1. Of course, this has been part of the DLC, the bonus DLC. The bonus pack 3, actually. So it's our third free bike. Not too bad, we've had the Katana so far, the Yamaha R1 Endurance Modified Bike, and then now this Honda. Now, I can probably say out of all the bikes, I'm more pleased for the Honda. Not sure why this wasn't already in the game, but I guess Milestone wanted a bit more interest, I guess, because dropping a free DLC with a free bike, I guess, is a little bit more appealing than just having it in the game already, I guess. But hey-ho, it is what it is. We have a brand new bike, though, which is good to see. And it's absolutely stunning. One of the best bikes in Ride 4. Well, it looks that way, anyway. It looks absolutely terrific, but uh, how does it stand... The actual feeling test. I'm doing this one live so I can give you actual feedback as we go. And uh, I must say, I like it so far. It feels nice. It feels really good. It feels exactly what I would expect it to feel like. I've not noticed any sort of downgrades or upgrades as such. I know the officer, the update is live. And of course, the update for the next gen. I'm really worried that us PC players aren't going to get the next gen features. Because I know that is a thing that developers seem to do. For some reason they forget about PC a lot. But that is Sugo. That is attempt number one and completed in number one. So we now move across to Phillip Island in a terrific circuit. Of course still on board the Honda CBR. Now this is part of the actual Sugo. Whoa! <laughs> I almost lost the front there. This is actually part of the Fireblade Trophy Group, that uh, of course came free with the DLC. It's always nice to have more additional cups and trophies to contend to. Sadly no extra achievements, but it is what it is. But as long as we get a damn decent bike out of it, I'm quite happy. There's about five challenges in this particular part of the career mode in this Fireblade Trophy Group. Sugo, Phillip Island, being time trials, and then there's three races. Manny Cause. McCaw? Macau, I think? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. McCaw, I think. And then uh, another Grand Prix, so... Expect to see those on the channel soon, but my feedback is pretty nice so far. I'm liking this bike. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned that the update has messed a few things for some people. Well, fortunately for me, I've not seen any issues yet. But I'm sure there's bound to be a few surprises along the way, so I'm just taking this one rather casually. Quick shout out to Cybergasty as well for beating my lap time on Phillip Island at this very same track. On board the Yamaha XJR, I think it was. So shout out to you. I will be having another go to beat you. But if I cannot do it, then the top spot is yours, my friend. As we're going to pretty much glide across Phillip Island pretty easily. By about six seconds adrift. So we are now here in Manny Cores. Starting from about 6th place in the grid. In fact, I'm going to hold off and let everyone else pass and I'll go start from 12th. Seems fair. Oh, a bit of a bit of an issue there with the stutter. So now we're back into business. Starting from the back place of the grid. Never mind. <laughs> Seems everyone's crashed already. At least two riders down into turn 2. As we now glide into turn 3 for Estoril. Suzanne Gobert ahead of us. With Sasaki just further up the road. There is the... Mark Marquez variant of the bike. Pretty nice. I actually thought that was the variant you got. You know, the actual colour scheme, but it's not. You get this colour scheme and then you unlock the Marquez livery with uh, level 5 affinity. It's going to go really wide there, actually. Not, uh, not my best of entries to that uh, corner, but never mind. It's still fine. As Lou Chabonneau is making a move. Oh, I'm going to go around the outside of Lou. Pretty nicely done so far. We've got now Flavio Gomez. I don't know why the AI is so slow in Manny Cores. Either that or I'm just really quick. And I don't think so. Well, they are just never competitive enough as we go around the outside of Gomez. In this night track. 7pm here in France. Manny Cores. Roland Och is in fifth place for now. He soon won't be, though. He's soon to be relegated down to sixth. It's just a matter of time. We attack the Frenchman. Any moment now. 
Thank you. Oh, contact made! <laughs> Massive contact! <laughs> Bloody hell! Didn't mean to give him a good old wallop, but <laughs> there it is. That is a wallop for you, my friend. So, of course, brand new bike. Good to see. I actually don't remember when the next DLC is going to be. I'm usually up to date with it. I have, uh, have it saved on my computer. But well, I've not even looked this time, so I don't know. But my point was going to be earlier about the about the next-gen update. I'm going to be very disappointed if we don't get to that additional feature. Because my PC, which I built myself last year, is about as good as any PlayStation 5 out there. If, I, if anything, it's going to be better than the PS5. Because I put a lot of good pieces in the carnage! Oh my goodness, contact to the head! Absolute carnage and chaos already! In just second lap of this French Grand Prix. But I was going to say regarding my PC, it's a very good PC. I have a 2080 Super, Ryzen 3700X. It's um, it's more than capable of playing games at 4K. Maybe not all of the games, especially not some of the modern titles. But uh, it is capable of playing most games at 4K with 60 frames per second at the minimum. But even some games like Ride 4, I can play 4K with 80 frames per second or 90 sometimes. I think it's maybe 70 or something. So I do play on uh, MotoGP20 on my 4K TV sometimes. I'd rather play it on my monitor though with 120 frames. I get 144 hertz on this monitor, but for some reason Ride and MotoGP only go to 120. Is a um, great defense there from Fourier. Fure, Furoff. <laughs> Isn't that a song? <laughs> so now flick it into the final corner across the chicane. We're going to accelerate. We have a lot to make contact. Ooh. But I am going to be very disappointed if the PC does not get the next-gen update because I would really like to do 20 rider races. 12 riders in the races just isn't enough. It's about time that improved. So we'll see anyway, but there's no reason they shouldn't have it because end of the day MotoGP 20 has 24 riders, 25 riders. So what's the difference? And I always found the same with MXGP 20 as well. And it's the other MXGP games, you'll never get 20 riders as well. It's a great Really late there for Adelaide. Never seemed to get that corner right. I always make a bit of a hash of that one. The only time I think I got it right was when I was playing against Fuchs on uh, online that time. Speaking of online, I do actually plan on doing a live stream soon. I was thinking, give you guys plenty of time in advance, well, the PC players at least, so you can join me and we can do some online races together. And I'm thinking it's going to be Saturday the 30th of January to give everyone time. Of course, I will leave an Instagram post or Twitter post. Shout out to my Twitter, actually. I don't think anyone... I, I hardly use it, but a few people of you follow me on there. And I have a poll going right now for MXGP 2020. I am making MXGP Mondays. And one vote, one valuable vote on it says yes. So therefore, that vote speaks for you all, and we do MXGP Mondays every Monday from now on. As we now enter... The final complex. Good stuff so far. Well, as I say, this this Honda's great. I'm really, really enjoying it. I no issues with feeling, no issues with any feedback. It feels fine. Uh, I'm not seeing any issues on the track. Not seeing any um, graphical errors or anything like that. Just just the usual stuff. So thankfully, no issues. But uh, endurance races, cheese toasted. And um, oh, I do apologise if I've forgotten the other person in the comment section. But um, yeah, you guys said there's still issues regarding the tyres that you can't change from either slicks to wets or wets to slicks. Which is just bloody annoying. I can't believe that still hasn't been fixed. How long has this game been out? But uh, it is what it is. Something to mention. So if you did think that this update was going to fix all of the problems, you are mistaken. And so am I, because I thought that would be the same. I mean, the last time we had an update to fix things, it just broke things, <laughs> so... Oh, modern day gaming. You know, I've been playing a lot of games on the Nintendo recently. I've been playing uh, Ni Nintendo Switch quite a lot. Animal Crossing and Luigi's Mansion. And they are so lovingly crafted and there's literally like no issues with them. It makes me wonder why other games can't seem to get this right. Seems every game we get nowadays is we have to wait for a day one patch or something something to try and fix something that's broken. Well, enough ranting because uh, I'm actually still really enjoying this 
bike. It's really good. And I must say, I'm, I'm loving Ride 4 still. I don't see my feeling changing unless they come out and break it with an update, which, please don't. I'd much rather they didn't. As we now enter turn one, and I'll flick it right for Estoril for turn three. Shout out to Estoril, actually. That's a track we need to get in this game. We do have quite a lot of requests building up now, so which I'm really pleased to see. So I will be working on those this week. And I will be bringing you the, the videos as soon as I can. A shout out to the couple of people I've been requesting. I had a massive request yesterday in the MXGP video. I will work on those, I promise. I, I write everything down. So whatever you request does not go unmissed. I do think... Um, I am missing a few things like the help the hand cam in Kailami. I still have that to do. I don't know if that if you still are after that, but um, yeah, I'll just, I'll see what I can do. And then of course I've got some requests for endurance races and Ulster GP, if it ever comes. But into the until then it'll be Southern one hundred and the Northwest two hundred. And as we now crawl across these past couple of corners, because as I say Manny calls. for some reason the AI is just absolutely garbage on it. 11 seconds and I'm just sort of chilling. Chilling and chatting to you is what I enjoy to do, rhyming accidentally. So that is going to conclude another Dot Trace video, I really hope you enjoyed this one. Quick look at the DLC Pack 3. And of course guys, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for see more content. Upload every single day. And I will see you in the next video, so ciao for now guys.